Hey, you hobbyists, let's do something different here. Sometimes I get these thoughts or ideas about something that might make for a good topic, and I spend a bunch of time and energy trying to find a way to square it into an EG video, all the while losing interest when I really should be just recording. So let's do it. EG's mostly unadulterated thoughts on a particular topic. And this particular topic is whether it is better to have a fresh install or an old install, I think. Mine ended up being just a regular old ramble, but uh, I'll try to keep it together here. And by the way, the game in the background is called Void Bastards, developed by Blue Manchu and published by Humble Bumble. I don't really know why I keep coming back to this game. It's probably the graphics, but I never stay for very long. It's a silly and shallow game that goes for me on a yearly basis, it seems. The last time I played was March, I think, of last year, and it's February now, so... Anywho, for folks that use Windows, you've probably heard the whole Windows slows down over time thing, and that's like after you install it, it just slows down over time, and over years, it just gets to the point where you have to reinstall. Well, after using Debian Linux for two years, I was actually starting to feel that too, I think. I was hoping to see some kind of performance improvement when I switched to Kubuntu, and instead I've seen, well, I've seen bugs. Now, in my last video, I talked about switching to Kubuntu from Debian, and I teased a benchmarking video that is still due to come out soon. But I want to spell out these thoughts while I have you, and, and while I have them, while I have them with you. But now I realize that I may have just disillusioned myself about doing a, a distro hop that I hadn't done in like two years. So Kubuntu is buggy. Like, astonishingly buggy, quite honestly. Kwin crashes on me at least once a week. It even crashed on me this morning, right before I recorded this very voiceover. I wrote a rant about it and posted a screenshot of my journal on Mastodon, which you should follow me over there. Doesn't seem to matter if I'm using X or Wayland, Kwin just dumps out and crashes and usually kind of recovers, but it's not great. Now, but I had seen these issues on Debian and I attributed it to Wayland, but I see it here on Kubuntu too. So sometimes like Firefox or another app thinks that I have an item that I want to drop onto a web page or something, but I have nothing and I have to close the browser app to, re to get that to go away, basically. Now, the thing is, I didn't see these issues right away on Kubuntu. But why not? Did I fool myself into not seeing them, or did they actually take some time to show up? Another good one that I've been fighting with is with GPU drivers. In the video I just did, I said that games had been figuring out the GPU thing. Like I could quote myself, and now it is the opposite. Games are suddenly using the wrong GPU, and sometimes they just won't use the right one. It happened with the game that I streamed on my other channel last Friday, Gnarly Hike. But I actually remember having this very issue with a couple games on Debian, but I solved them and I forgot about it. So maybe on Kubuntu, I forgot about all of those like little hacks, so I mistakenly attribute them as bugs. Now I've been ragging on Kubuntu and Ubuntu, but to their credit, I will say that the battery life for my laptop is way better. My favorite place to cram work is in in front of the fireplace, untethered by cables and other nonsense, and on Debian I would get maybe two and a half hours on battery before it started hollering at me. Here on Kubuntu I get over four, so that's at least double what Debian pulled. And the Power Energy Stats widget in K-Info Center works too, so that's another cool bonus I guess. So I wonder, how much of these bugs are on me being used to the bugs on my Debian install, or whether or not Kubuntu is actually buggy? Debian did have its share of issues that I worked around and I forgot about, and I have been using snaps a lot here on Kubuntu, but I don't think that's it. These things and the issues I'm seeing are KDE specific, like the app icon doesn't seem to bounce next to the mouse. A trademark thing that KDE Plasma is kind of known for is when you're launching an app or waiting for something to load, the little app icon will bounce next to the mouse cursor. Well, in Kubuntu, it doesn't do that, it just sits there. So my friend Teal said that that might be a patch. So like, Canonical patched the bouncing thing out? And I don't know if that's the case, but I mean, actually, that kind of sounds compelling. I don't know, why else wouldn't it bounce? But either way, it just feels like a strange bug. Another weird one is the fonts. Fonts and snaps and flat packs just come and go. Sometimes they're just missing the anti-aliasing and they look really jaggedy and crappy. Or sometimes the fonts go missing completely and show up as serif fonts. So, I don't know. 
Kubuntu is strange. It's like it's haunted or something. I, I'm going to stick it out until Ubuntu LTS comes out, and then I'll see how I'm feeling. I promise I won't hop in the meantime, but I have to say I can't have a system that's unstable. I do work on this thing, and I can't have it just like crashing all the time. I wouldn't call... I wouldn't go so far as to call Kubuntu unstable, but I would call it annoying. And I will say that my old Debian system was boring, but it wasn't unstable, and I felt like I could trust it. So still not 100% sure on the verdict of whether a fresh install is better than an old install, but I'm leaning towards Kubuntu just being buggy. But that's it. I'm putting a fork in it here. If you like this one, you want to see more, consider becoming a channel member. I got some of these ideas or topics, things to talk about from discussions that we've had over in the supporter channels of the Hobby Shop Discord. You can join the Discord through a link in the description. But until next time, take care and leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks a lot and see you later.